Hello everyone. Today we commemorate two significant events in the last days of Jesus' life on earth. Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem for the Jewish feast of Passover and his painful sufferings. Friends, from the 11th chapter of Mark's Gospel, we learn that when Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey, the crowds who had come to celebrate Passover surrounded and joyously welcomed him by spreading their coats on the ground in front of him, waving palm leaves and singing Hosanna. But a few days later, we observe from the passion narrative of the same gospel that Jesus was left completely alone in his suffering and death. Having been betrayed and denied by his disciples and abandoned by his followers, Jesus faced his agony in utter desolation. He felt isolated, even abandoned by God, as he endured the shame of false accusations, condemnations, mockery, insults, beatings, and abandonment. Feeling the separation from his father, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama samakthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Friends, Abandonment is a common theme in all the Synoptic Gospels. But to stress the feeling of abandonment and desolation, Mark reports that all of Jesus' disciples left him and fled after his arrest. And he also writes curiously about a young man with nothing on himself but only a linen cloth. He was following Jesus, but after all others had fled, also ran away naked when the soldiers seized to him. There is no mention of the name of the young man, but it is traditionally believed that the man was Mark himself. The man probably did not mind facing such an embarrassment and humiliation just to save his own life and abandon Jesus to suffer alone. Friends, like Jesus, we too have our moments of joy, happiness, triumph and victory. There are times when we rejoice, when we succeed in life and are elated. When we are well settled in life, everything sails smoothly. The winds blow certainly in our favor. Our wishes are fulfilled. Our jobs are secure. Love is plentiful. Health is perfect. There are also other joyful moments when people acclaim, applaud, praise, honor and support us. That is like people singing hosannas to us as they did to Jesus on the road to Jerusalem. Then there is the other side of life, our moments of passion. Like Jesus, we go through fear, distress, anguish, and sorrow and agony and intense suffering. We undergo betrayal, denial, indifference, mockery, loneliness, rejection, false accusation, unjust treatment, insults, humiliation, physical agony, mental torture, and death. Friends, during this week, we have the unique opportunity to not only recall the events leading up to the death and resurrection of Jesus, but also to contemplate on his perfect obedience and humility. As he bore all the suffering and evil with the total surrender and complete submission to God, so also can we surrender to God's will, even it means facing pain and struggle, instead of clinging to pride, independence or self-reliance. Friends, following Jesus' example can help us greatly in dealing with our daily struggles. One thing is certain. God does not ask us to endure more than Christ did, and He comforts us in all our afflictions. Amen. God bless you.